Good morning, Bob. Okay, let's do this. Uh, who's from, who's uh, from over a thousand miles away? Who's come more than a thousand miles? Wow, my goodness. I bet half, uh, I bet half the people here is pretty there. Two thirds. Okay, well, who's from 1,500 miles away? Where, where are you people from? Florida! Florida! How far away in this country? I'm from Tampa. <coughs> there you go, I'm okay, Hollywood. Okay, who's 2,000 miles away? I'm still blown away. All right, all right, this one, we have to really go up there. 2,500 miles. I mean, you're not even in the continental United States. All right. Yeah, we are. 2,500 miles? Yeah, I took the long okay. way around. I know we have a bunch of Maine folks. If I were from Maine, I'd be here too. Yeah. I was from Alaska all my life, and then I got to stay a little bit in Alaska. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, we have had some cold weather here, as if you've been here for a while. It's actually been fairly cold. Still better than Maine or Alaska, so I'm, I'm putting up with it pretty well. 10,000 miles, where are you from? Oh my Whoa, God. yeah. Well, welcome, I'm glad you're here. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Wazel toss. Okay, what are their uh, international countries? Montreal. I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't. Ontario, Canada. Probably a lot of Canadians. And someone wants to do this in the future, it's not talking way too much. Uh, oh, let's just go down the list. You need uh, you need food. There is uh, there's two, three main grocery stores in town. Uh, one is uh, the Roadrunner. The other is uh, uh, there are two there are two grocery stores. Uh, Next to where? Right. <coughs> on the east end of town, on they're all on Main Street. Everything we're going to talk about is on Main Street almost. Uh, on Main Street, on the east end of town, is the Family Dollar, the Roadrunner Market, and um, and Coyote. And those three are your main grocery stores in town, and and Dollar General on the other end of town, and the big market on the other end of town. So those are where you buy groceries. Yep. In by the well. There's a big tent, there is a grocery liquidator. Yes, there are several big tent liquidators, not in big tent, out in the vendor's booths, where they have uh, scratch and dent and out of date, and they're cheap, and I, every every year when I get into Quartzsite, I go to two places immediately. It's the scratch and dent food and KB Tools out in Tyson Wells, and they're right beside each other. And I go there first, and the last place I always leave before I leave Quartzsite uh, is the scratch dent groceries and uh, KB foods. Those are my two favorite places in Portsmouth. Uh, otherwise, you can go to, to uh, get on Interstate 10, go directly west, and you'll end up in Blythe, and there's good shopping out there. Smart and Final is very reasonably priced, very reasonably priced. Just go off to the sunset with a yacht. This thing has gotten so wildly out of hand, it's very expensive. This this event, what you're looking around, this porta potties over there. They're not giving those away. <laughs> I'm paying quite a bit for those porta potties, and so uh, it costs an awful lot of money. And I'm more than willing to pay it. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to pay every penny of it, and gladly do so. But I wouldn't hurt my feelings if you paid for some of them with donations. Uh, and so there is a donation box attached to the bulletin board. So if you go over there and you want to make a donation, you can make a donation at the bulletin board in the lockbox. Just put it, whatever you, if we all put it in a buck, we go a long ways towards paying for it. And so we put in 10 or 20 and we might pay for it. And also at the button table, there will be a donation box. This year, straight behind me, right there, is a table for Homes on Wheels Alliance. That's the nonprofit I've started. We'll talk about that later. I won't talk about it now. I've got big plans. I, I'm I'm out to change the world. I'm, I don't want to. I don't I don't want to buy a yacht and sail off into the sunset. That has no interest to me whatsoever. I want to change the world. I want to change the world we live in. I want to change this country. I want to change people's lives, and it takes an organization to do that. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Oh. 
Yeah, you don't want that either. Um, I'm sure of that. And so if you would like to make give your money to the Homes on Wheels Alliance, it will we are an actual 501c3. We can give you a tax deduction and the problem is most of us probably can't use it. If you don't itemize, you can't use the tax, charitable tax deduction, so it doesn't really help you. It does help me. Uh, if, if we cover our costs and go over, then I have to pay taxes on that. So if paying, uh, giving the money to Homes on Wheels Alliance is actually a little better. I, I fund Homes on Wheels Alliance at this point. Um, and so if you want to give the money to Homes on Wheels Alliance, then you do get a tax deduction, and you'll have to look and see if you can actually take it on your taxes. It's fit $20,000. I thought it was going to be a couple hundred. <laughs> no, I knew how much it was going to be the whole time. Yeah, I think we're up to about $20,000 now. Um, it's just, these things don't just happen. You don't have 5,000 people, 10,000 people in the desert without spending some money. Yes, you can definitely write a check. Uh, either check a check to Homes on Wheels Alliance, and then you'll get a tax deduction, or uh, who do they write a check to? CRBL, Chief RV Living. Mike. Right, you can write to me, you can write to Bob Wells. You can write it to uh, CRVL, Chief RV Living. Um, I have a, that's, I have, this is a business. I'm in, I am in business. Right, I have a Chief RV, you can make it out to Chief RV Living, you can make it out to Bob Wells. If you do it at the Homes on Wheels Alliance booth, you can make it out to Homes on Wheels Alliance and you get a tax deduction if you can take it. And many of us can and many of us can't. Uh, they will be much appreciated. Yes. We don't know if there's uh, if we spend twenty thousand and ten thousand people come. Yeah, a lot of you can't afford it. If you can't afford it, don't give. Uh, we're here to serve you. You're not here to serve us. We are here to serve. some of our costs. Okay, we'll stop there. Uh, uh, T-shirts all have yellow or green. They're vol the volunteers, so uh, that makes them volunteers. Thank them. They're doing a lot. They're doing all the work. Thank you. T-shirt one of them. Okay, and um, You can donate to Howa, and, and any money you give to Homes on Wheels is money I don't have to give to Homes on Wheels later on. <laughs>